Backwards, backwards. Ah! Go aim back, aim back. Yep, I'm going right now. Yeah! Hi, my name is Valen Lo, and I'm a competitive arm wrestler. My name is Danny Dharma. I'm a competitive bodybuilder. My best, best, best ever was 140 kilos. So squats 230 kg. I'm 171cm tall and my weight is 103kg. I'm 169cm and 68kg. Do people underestimate I mean initially, yes. In the wrestling world, I'm known as a destroyer dharma. First, I'm like the biggest. I've tried like different big guys, like maybe 100kg, but I've beaten them as well. So do you think you can beat a bodybuilder in bench press for 140kg? Well, you can bring me anyone in Singapore, I can destroy them. I'm ready to put my arms to the test. Ready, go! 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 Yeah. You gotta go. Look at the arm. Yeah. Don't look away. There we go. There we go. Go. Like this. Watch that one. Ah. 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 How was it? Well, that was very, very difficult. Maybe after I teach him a little bit of technique, he will do better. People who have no experience in arm wrestling, what are the basics? So don't grip low on your opponent. Don't grip here. You want to grip high. Okay. So when you grip high, there's a bit more leverage. And then people always tend to like, you know, aim for this pad right here, right? You don't want to be aiming like all the way here. Firstly, you want to get hand control first. So you want to control the person here. Okay. And then from here, you can go, you'll be easier. Lah. And in arm wrestling, right, it's not just like rotator calf arm movement like this. It's a body movement. So it's more dynamic, you're using your hips as well. You know, when, like when you throw a punch, you use your hips as well, right? So same thing, you're using your hips and going here, together with the body. Another thing that you need to note in arm wrestling is the foot positioning. If you're arm wrestling right-handed, it's best that you take a neutral stance. So right foot forward, that's where your kinetic energy is at. As you go, twist your hips, turn your foot and pivot and pin the opponent. People who don't execute the correct technique have a chance of uh, breaking their humerus. I'm out. <laughs> From here, we pull the weight, keep the elbows locked, and we do a wrist flexion here, which mimics the movement on the arm resting table whereby you're cupping the opponent and going from here. So it's just a uh, Twisting your hand and wrist facing downwards. Yep. That's where you actually peel open your opponent's fingers in the arm wrestling match as well. So how this helps is uh, you get height during the arm wrestling match. We want to be high and get leverage over the opponent. We have to train our biceps as well. So uh, this movement mimics the arm wrestling whereby you're in a defensive position and you're trying to get the opponent from the bottom to the top. Uh. You're isometrically holding that statically and bringing the weight up. Yeah. Most of the arm wrestlers, we do it like half range of motion. That's where it's most effective. Uh. So after I taught you all the techniques, I hope you can beat uh, someone. Uh. I want to challenge you again. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we'll go. Uh. Now use the techniques that I have taught you. Go. Good. Yep. Yep. Backwards, backwards. Ah! Go in back, in back. Yep. I'm going right now. <laughs> stronger. How did Danny do? Uh, he felt stronger. He went high and he dragged a little bit. Technique's a little bit better, but of course it takes years like, to master like this sort of thing. So yeah, but it's not too bad for a beginner. 
Okay guys, uh, so my takeaway for today's session uh, is that every sport requires uh, sport specific training. So it doesn't mean you have big arms, you can win in arm wrestling. You will need to train those intricate muscles that are required for the sport. You know, as a bodybuilder, I always get compared with uh, MMA fighters that bodybuilders can't fight. You see, it comes back to the same principle. Uh, you need sport specific training. So if you want to be a fighter, you must specifically train for fighting. And if you want to be a bodybuilder, you specifically train for bodybuilding. So in the top row, right, we are attacking your fingers. So grip on me. You're locking your arm, but I'm going backwards towards myself. Pronating your fingers, opening, separating you from your biceps. So this is where you have lack of excess of power and from here it will be easier to go down. I can go in the hook. So I'm coming in here. See, it's like a hook right here. From here, I want to go sideways and I'm dragging you outside as well. Yeah. So I'm going inside, I'm going towards you. So I neutralize your wrist first, neutralize the wrist. From here, I'm taking your rotation, the forearms and biceps go down here. If you enjoyed this segment today, you can follow me at my Instagram handle at Danny Dharma. And you can catch me at Valen Lo and the Singapore Arm Wrestling Team on Instagram and on CNA Insider. Wait. Oh, I'm going right now. More. I'm going. I'm giving you more. Wow. Hey, that. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's bigger, stronger. <laughs>